Alexis Andre Jr. Two, Dan Moss. Three, Josh Casey. Six, Luke Wilkinson. Ten, Padraig Amor. And for Aldershot Town, it's number one, Jordi Van Stubbershaft. Two, Haji Minoga. Three, Ollie Harfield. Four, Kian Harris. Five, Kobe Rowe. Seven, Stuart O'Keefe. Eight, Tyler Frost. Nine, Loren Tolage. Ten, Josh Stokes. Eleven, Ryan Glover. And 22, Jack Barham. And we're on the way. Josh Stokes gets us underway in the shots for Woking Surrey Hampshire derby on Boxing Day. And uh, the shots in possession at the minute. Harfield lifts the ball down the line. Bar Barham gets up and heads it well inside, but he's just offside. He'll be looking to try and exploit that. Yeah. Throw in taken to Brown, and then Frost clears it forward. Deflects off a Woking player, comes back though to Woking. And um, here's Denon Lewis down by the corner flag. He tries a little cross into the box. And uh, there's a little bit of contact towards the goal from Kellerman, I think. Harfield got a little bit of a thigh on it, and that took the pace off us. And it was nice and easy for Jordi Van Stappershoef in the end. Just head tennis in the middle at the moment, listeners. Casey's got it, squares it inside to Ince. 13 minutes gone, nil nil. Reese Brown on the edge of the final third. Good win back from Ince. Reese Brown, uh, Oyeliki breaking forward, plays a little ball inside, and the shot comes in for Mamon, is saved by the feet of Van Stappershaw. Drawn Denon Lewis out to them. So create a little bit more space if you like in the middle. Will it still be played short? It is. Glover to Frost, Frost back to Glover. Glover now running across the edge of the penalty area and looking for Stuart O'Keefe. He tries a little clip ball in. Frost sends it towards the goal. And it was a clever idea. It was a little bit high and a little bit wide. But what Frost did was he, he put it in an area close to the target and kind of but well, if it doesn't go in, someone might get on the end of it. Right idea, John. Yeah, very much so. In the tenth minute, and it's shots striker on loan, Hadi Gandur, who's got the goal for Farnborough. Here at the EBB, we still await the first goal. We're in the 19th minute. Cross in from the left, header down, it's just wide. Just wide from, uh, I think, Reese Brown. John Moore will confirm. Yeah, Reese Brown it was. It was another great opportunity for the cards. Great work by Denny Lewis over on that left-hand side. Dinked cross, and Brown has to hit the target. And uh, Odyssey just gets there in front of Tolaj. That won't please the shots manager. He just waited for it, and uh, Odyssey wanted it. Denny Lewis with a curler, and right to the last moment, you thought Jordi Van Stappenshoef was going to catch that. But he decided to push it away from goal. What was your thoughts on that, John? Well, I thought he should have caught it. Yeah. I was amazed. But Certainly a late change of mind, but a very positive one. He really did deflect it quickly and strongly out to the left touch line. Yeah, at the moment, just that frost header over. And Stokes back heel not quite working. Ball through the middle, bounces kindly for Barham, turns it around the corner to Tolland. He's looking to get in the air. He is in the air. Shot. Ooh, a cross goal and just wide. The first opportunity for Laurent Tolad to pull the trigger on that left foot that we know so much about. Lovely little bit of clever play from Barham, who picked up on a bit of hesitancy in defence. And Laurent Tolad did well to pull away from Odessina, but the angle was always going to be tight. And still, we await the first goal here in the Boxing Day Derby between the shot down and working. Glover plays it to Stokes. Cute little bit of play, tries to get his crossing, but that's blocked. He now goes back to Glover. Glover tries to get a crossing, and that's blocked. Gives it back to Stokes. Stokes inside to Harfield. He's got room if he wants to have a shot. He does, he curls one. He's parried. Tolad follows up. And O'Keefe. Oh, offside. It's in the net. Somehow Tolad and O'Keefe, three times between them, eventually got it over the line. But because one had touched it onto the other, the flag's gone up. It's offside, frustration around for the shots, but I can only concur. Both players were on the goal line. O'Keefe, he should have just put it over the line, but it deflected up in the air. Um, Tolledge there as well, and then when it eventually went across the goal line, John, it was considered a pass. Absolutely, you know, Woking got out of jail there, really.
really it all came about because they switched off from the corner so Woking continue to knock on the door they take this corner short between Oyeliki and Brown back with Oyeliki now advances towards his man finds Brown is Brown going to try a shot from distance horrible deflection on it and on this occasion it goes kindly for all the shot and Rowe clears his lines but then there's a back heel from Oyeliki to Brown he's down by the byline up against Frost back into Casey inside the penalty area turns it inside and now Aldershot might, and they might get a shot woken, they do from Oyeliki and Van Stappershoef sees it clearly and gets down to his left. Shot on target for Woken, and it might be the first one for either side in the second half, John. Yeah, a couple of half chances, I think Oyeliki will be a bit disappointed really, he didn't get more on it, he went for placement more than power. Here's Josh Stokes looking for a ball. Uh, to split the Woken defence. Now he tries it, finds Tolo, just got the ball, trying his left foot. Distance shot, brilliant, brilliant shot, brilliant save. He just checked Tolo and then he let fly and we know what he can do. In swinger, in it comes. And Glover again is first up and heads it away. And uh, Tolo looks to find Barham. Can't find him but the ball comes back to Tolo and then bounces kindly for shots. Stokes gets it on the inside left channel. All the shot with the counter. Frost's in the middle if Glover can get it in. Glover pulls it back. Kwame Thomas cleared off the line incredibly. And follow-up shot from Tolladge goes over the bar. And I don't know how Kwame Thomas has not scored there. John Moore. Well, he missed an absolute city. You've got to give credit to the keeper. But really, he should have buried it. That was the chance of the game. And, uh, well... Huge credit, of course, to Andre Junior, but really either side of him, and it's a goal. But Kwame Thomas, for whom goals have been at a premium this year, so, so well to nick the ball off Armand. I think if Armand got one more touch and got away from him, he'd have been in. And this game is finally opening up, and we may yet get a break of the deadlock. Oh, here's Barham, inside the penalty area, right side, squares it. And it's cleared off the line. Tolad has missed it somehow. And Tolad's miss is almost as clear cut as Thomas's, but he's pulled it wide on his left foot, 12 yards out. I cannot believe it. And Casey can make his way over the halfway line. And uh, comes inside to Oyeliki, who finds Dan Moss in a bit of space on the right hand side. He Gives it uh, now out to the right side, the cross comes in, shot is blocked on the line brilliantly, I think by Van Stappershoef. And uh, while well, he was well positioned, and another chance goes begging, this time for Woking. And uh, they build again down the right hand side with Amond. He goes back to Moss, trying to get his cross in, but Club has brilliantly got his feet in there and worked it back and won it. Just feeling a little touch of cramp as the ball bounced off him. Harfield. Can you see Monoga on the right hand side? I think Monoga's offside again. No, it's not given this time. Takes the ball under control, skips onto his right foot, squares it for Tolad. Tolad's a good first touch onto his right now, then back onto his left. And then the shot is saved, slightly parried by Andre Junior, and Stokes was ready to pounce, but he gathered it in well. And the Woking goalkeeper has played his part this afternoon, John Moore. Yeah, he has, but good work from Tolad. Quick feet, and he managed to get a shot away and Woking have got a free kick. Oyeliki is going to take it, right-footed, in from the left, headed half clear, as far as Ollie Scott. He helps it on. Will the referee bring proceedings to him? Oh, Andre Jr. has completely missed the ball, but it's fallen kindly to Dan Moss. And the final whistle goes, and we've had something we didn't expect this afternoon, a draw, and we certainly, John Moore, didn't expect it to be goalless. Nil-nil.